for some, high fuel prices are just an inconvenience. But for the average family in South Wales, it can mean the difference between getting into debt or losing their job. A group of Welsh charities, including Citizens Advice, are trying to tackle transport poverty. Obviously, if you're a millionaire, it might not be such a big deal if you want to own several Rolls Royces and yachts and so on and a private plane. But the vast majority of people aren't in that situation. So you're looking at average people on average incomes. 10% of your income is a lot of money. So it's a practical implication, really. Can you get where you need to get in order to live a normal, decent life? A quarter of households in Wales don't own a car. And with the cost of running one on Welsh roads going up, more people are finding it difficult to get to where they need to go. People in rural areas are being particularly hard hit. Shane Jones from the Fernhill Valley has had to take two of his cars off the road because of rising petrol prices. For him, the pressures of raising a family and getting to work every day have become increasingly difficult. I can't afford to drive the car at the moment. Uh, the the fuel, fuel prices are, are way too steep. Um, but it's not just the fuel prices, it's the old maintenance of the car. It was my father's car recently passed away and um, it was his last car, so well, for sentiment reasons I've got to try and keep this on the road now. And like I said, the prices these days to keep on, it's, I'm finding it really difficult, especially being a family man with children and everything. Here at Radder Filling Station, Cardiff people are paying huge prices for their diesel and their petrol. Today, prices are reaching 149 for petrol and 157 for diesel. It's any wonder that people can't afford their cars, can't afford to run their cars here in Cardiff. These people are relying on other ways to get around. And with the Welsh Government's £3 million cut to public transport last month, they're finding these services costly and unreliable. The charities are calling for more money to be put into buses and to trains. Some Cardiff City councillors think subsidising transport is the answer. We need to have a different approach to transport. I think transport should be something that makes the economy work. We should be allowed to subsidise buses. We're not allowed legally. No, uh, what, why can't we charge 15 pence to, to take a bus? Nobody would use a car then. Nobody would use a car. I wouldn't use a car. Help may be on the way soon. The Welsh Government will next month produce a strategy to help tackle transport poverty. The charities in South Wales are hopeful that the average family will be able to get where they need to go.